Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest features in Teams, which is posting to multiple places. By the end of this video, you'll know about posting to multiple channels, you'll know about posting to multiple teams, and we'll go over some of the limitations that you'll face in doing both of those. My name's Gavin Jones, I am Transformation Manager for Fortune 500 Company, and all the tips that we've got on YouTube come out of real life scenarios, so we hope you find them useful as well. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And without further ado, let's get a look at posting in multiple places. Okay, so here we are in the test team and you can see I've already done one as I was uh, testing this out earlier but um, if you start a new conversation down the bottom as you will know if you hit the little format box uh, if you don't know what that is we've got a video on that which I'll link up in the description below hit the format box and you get a, a, a pop-up to type some more text in there as a quick recap this allows you to hit enter and get a new line as you're typing if you don't have that box popped up then when you hit enter your message gets posted straight away so all the usual stuff that we covered before, so you can have the subject, um, all of the formatting bits that you've got at the top um, are still there. I'm not sure if I've done a video else or not, I can't remember, but there is a, a now an ability to do an announcement, which just makes the headline uh, a bit bigger and you can add a picture into the background of that if you wanted to, um, as well as a big headline and even a subheading. So there's an announcement or a new conversation, they're function of the same thing apart from one you've got a picture at the top uh, or a bit of, big bit of uh, coloured text. Uh, relatively new is the uh, moderation bit so you can either have everyone reply to a message or just moderators and yourself. Um, not really found a use for that yet to be honest um, but the bit I wanted to cover today was posting in multiple channels which is this new um, option over on the right hand side. So if we click that post in multiple channels, we get a new pop-up saying with a little two box, like an email. We can see this is gonna to go to the testing channel, which is the channel that we're in over here. And if I just um, type something like, hello, uh, testing multiple posts. And then you can see on the right hand side, we then get this big select channels button and if we hit that, we can not only select channels, but we can see all of our teams actually that we're a member of. And if we scroll down to the team that we're in, we are in the testing channel. So it says source, because that's where we've typed our message and that's uh, blocked out from being unticked because you're posting it where you've written it. But say we want also want to post into, um, I don't know, recapture channel um, <clears throat> and you can even pick multiple ones as well uh, but let's just pick the recapture channel for now update and that's going to add another channel into the two box so if we just go ahead and post that as is then you'll see it says sending for a little or a little bit longer than it usually does and you get this um, little chain icon um, which is the same icon as the one we clicked to get it posted in multiple places. And if you hover over it, it says it's posted in multiple places. At the time of recording, there doesn't seem to be a way to link into where it's posted it to. Um, so if you hover over it and right click or click on it, it doesn't jump you between everywhere that's posted. Um, and there's no option in the three dot menu on that message. But we posted it into recapture, so if we go into there, we can see that um, our message has successfully posted there. So um, obviously a very easy way of posting across multiple places. If you want to post across multiple channels, um, you can do that. If you want to post across multiple teams, you can do that as well. Same method. I guess the use of that is if you've got a uh, functional team structure like we recommended in one of the previous videos which I'll um, link in then 
if you've then got some communications to go out to the entire company, say, you could post it then across every team in the company to get a broad communication out, uh, which would be really beneficial. Um, not found a great use for posting across multiple channels within a team, because I guess you should be keeping your chats segregated um, between what the subject's about anyway. And you can already at mention multiple channels if you wanted to bring people into that conversation. If you post in multiple places, you're not really gonna be sure who's, you know, you can't see all of the conversation along with that thread because people might be posting in multiple channels about the same topic, which uh, might get confusing. So posting across teams, great addition. Posting across channels within the team, not really found a use. So if you uh, have used it and found a use for it, um, let us know in the comments below and help everyone else out. Um, but I just want to show you some, some limitations about this. If I start doing at channel, um, like we did in our initial training, we said, if you're starting a new subject, at mention at least somebody or the channel to make sure you're bringing people into Teams to break the email habit. Um, so if I just do at testing, hello, and then post that in the same two channels that we've just done. Uh, so the recapture channel and our testing channel. And post that. Then in the testing channel, it's at mentions testing, okay. And in the recap, recapture channel, because I typed at channel, uh, uh, I thought it might pick up the channel of your additional channel that you're posting into, but doesn't it just picks up, because uh, obviously it auto completes before you post it, uh, it just picks up the channel that you've mentioned. So if you wanted to mention both channels, you'd have to mention both channels manually in your original post, if that makes sense. Um, so we've just got, we're just at mentioning at testing and that links us back to the testing channel. So only people that have shown testing will get notified about that message even though we've posted both in recapture channel and the testing channel, if that makes sense. So it does get quite confusing posting across multiple channels. Um, slightly more confusing is when you do an app mention and post across multiple teams um, because the same thing applies. It just keeps your app mention and unless someone's a member, unless you've got membership shared across both those teams, then pretty much no one's gonna get notified in your second team, unless you chose a channel name, i.e. general, which is shared across both teams, then everyone would get notified. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Other limitation is if you, um, I don't know if you noticed already, but if I just do a test post and uh, select multiple channels, uh, again, choose and recapture channel. The attach icon disappears from when you're, uh, if you select more than one channel, more than one team, the attach uh, icon disappears. So it doesn't let you post an attachment across multiple teams. I tried to get around that by attaching a uh, file before I posted it. So we just pick up a test file, share a link, and then select your channels, it still lets you select the channel. So I'm thinking, oh great, I've got around it, I can post in multiple places. I wonder what it's gonna do with the file. Um, if you then go to click send, you get a, a pop-up notification saying you can't share files across multiple channels or teams. Please remove before sending, which uh, kind of makes sense because you want to keep your file integrity and your file structure sorted. And I guess Microsoft hasn't come up with a good way of sorting that out across channels. So quick recap, I guess the main benefit of this new functionality is to post across teams so you can notify multiple people in your company, especially if you've got functional teams set up. Um, not found a great use for channel postings across multiple channels. Um, and there are some limitations with your app mentions you need to really think about, um, especially if you're going across teams and you can't post files across multiple teams, which would have been a great benefit for some of our use cases. For example, if you're in a support function and you're supporting um, two sales channels, you might want to post the same message across both and have your files shared then across both. 
um, but unfortunately can't do that at the time of recording. So hopefully that makes sense. Remember to like the video if you liked it and uh, subscribe and click the bell icon if you haven't already because we've got new videos coming out on Teams every Tuesday. And let us know in the comments, is this a useful function? Have you used it before? Um, have you got a use for the multiple channel posts? Um, let us know. And then remember at me time, we think meetings in large corporations could be a lot better than they are. Which is why I've got a meeting timer app available in the iOS app store right now. And if you need any more information, visit our website, www.metimeapps.com. Both the App Store link and the website are in the comments below if you want a direct link. So thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in the next video.